Let's get into our mountain pose and just plan some gentle yoga for today. So lift your toes, spread them out, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core. Let that spine be supported with those ribs toward your spine and up and feel the lengthening up through the spine. Bring the shoulders back and down and just relax through that upper body. Arms at your side. Take a moment to focus inward and breathe. And just let any tension out. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back, keep the heart open. Inhale out to the front, and exhale the hands behind you. Clasp the fingers gently and press them down as you lift your heart and stretch your head back, spreading your toes. Just feel that upper body back bending. And then pivot at your hips, come on over, and then tuck in your chin slightly. Bring your hands toward your head. Move your chin jaw around. Let the back of your neck release and lift the sitting bones. Maybe deepen into that stretch on the back of your legs. And then slowly start at the bottom of your spine. Work your way all the way up. And again, a nice upper body back bend, lifting your heart. Drop those shoulders. Stretch the head away. Spread the toes out. Feel your bottom. And on an inhalation, come on up, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling your body respond. And again, inhale, arms to shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and then clasp your hands behind you, opposite directions, and shift one finger over. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, drop those shoulders, and don't forget to breathe. Pivot over at your hips, Come on into your forward position as deeply as you like. Take a moment there, breathing, lifting your center bones. And again, just release the neck and you can to move those arms towards your head, getting those shoulders working a little more. And then again, knees slightly bent as you come all the way up. And then lift your heart, but not your chin, coming into that upper body back bend. Stretch your head away, keep breathing, and stretching. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling what's going on internally for you today. Side stretches, let's bring both arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp them and bring your arms back by your ears. And sitting bones down, shoulder blades down, crown high. Lean to one side and don't twist. So just a straight position, both shoulders facing the front as you lean over, feeling those ribs stretch. Push the foot you're leaning away from down a little bit deeper and feel the ribs maybe stretch a little more. Keep the shoulder blades though still toward your waist. Inhale back upright, switch the other hand to the front, and again, arms by your ears, and stretch the end of the side. And just go as deeply on this side as you feel appropriate for you today, pushing the foot down and reaching the head and hands opposite. Take a breath, feeling those ribs. And then on an inhalation, come on up and into mountain pose. Feel the sides a little more activated and that spine having moved side to side, lateral. Now it's time for our twists so we never really get those bones stretching apart so they have room to move. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands over your shoulders. Go ahead and clasp your elbows and pull your arms next to your ears. Stretch the spine apart and turn to the side for your twist. Take a breath. Exhale over in the twist. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can. Keep the arms by your ears. Lift the sitting bones, spread your toes, and just deepen as much as your body wants. And on an inhalation, come on back up and lift your heart. Pull your elbows back, shoulders down, and don't forget to breathe. 
So upper body only back bend while you're twisting. Remember, never overwork that low back in the twist. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around, balance everything. And again, stretch apart, twist to the opposite side. Another breath. And then an exhalation, come on over on this side. And again, deepen as much as feels good. Keep your arms by your ears, sitting bones up. And don't forget to breathe. Weight on both feet and stay in your twist. Inhale your way back up. Lift your heart, pull your shoulders down, and your elbows down. Again, just that upper body back, bend the lengthening through the whole body. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up. Extended mountain, just feel your body sinking evenly into your feet. Keep those shoulders, shoulder blades towards your waist. Keep the core activated. You want your lower back supported. So keep those ribs towards your spine and up. Feel the abs supporting you. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale any tension. Shoulders down. And then swan dive. So bring the arms shoulder level, palms down. Pivot at your hips, chest lead. Take a moment there, parallel to the floor, and stretch everything. And then just drop into ragdoll, arms hanging wherever they bump. And city bones lifting. Move your chin. Get that neck releasing again. Pull in deeper if you like the back of your body stretch. And then arms to the center, knees slightly bent. Lift those ribs, drop the sitting bones. And from the bottom of the spine, wind your way all the way up. Shoulders back and down, coming into mountain curves. Take a moment, just feel your whole spine activated, getting ready for our practice today. Hands to your heart. Look at them, bringing the hands toward the ceiling. And another little back bend as you gaze at your hands, pulling them back. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot at your hips. Drop all the way over. Just hang for a moment, top of the head toward the floor, sitting bones rising. Slide your hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch. So chin slightly toward your chest, stretch that back of the neck along with everything in your spine as the sitting bones and crown reach away from each other. And keep those shoulder blades toward your waist. Exhale back down and palms together. Again, inhaling all the way toward the ceiling. Another gentle back bend. And hands to your heart, coming into mountain pose. Take a moment there, breathing. Turn your toes out. Bend your knees toward but not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees. Don't press, just position so that your shoulders are over your toes. Stretch your spine straight and long. And we're gonna do a gentle twist over to the side. So turn toward the side, hips, ribs, and shoulder, and bring the shoulder down toward the opposite knee. Looking to the side, whole body turned over toward that side. Stretch it out, relax, deepen as much as you'd like. Exhale, turning back to the center. Everything's still straight through that spine. And don't forget, you're stretching the back of your neck. And again, turning, full body, hips, ribs, and shoulder, going toward the opposite side, bringing that shoulder down further toward that opposite knee. Take a moment, stretching it out in the twist. No pressure in your hands. And again, exhale back to the center, tucking your chin slightly, and round your leg all the way back up. Feet hip width apart into mountain pose. Again, take a moment, just breathing, feeling your bodies. And exhale tension. Let's do the pelvic tilt before we get to the floor. So go ahead, feet up toward the sides again. So you remember, you're turning your whole leg, not just the feet. 
Knees bent toward the toes, hands above the knees, just like we did before. Stretch it out. And then sink into the back bend. So bring the ribs forward, inhaling, and pushing the sitting bones back. Really feel that core working as you drop the ribs. Shoulder blades towards your waist and looking slightly to Exhale, tuck the sitting bones down and forward. Bring those ribs in. Exhale, look down at the floor. So again, just get those hands a little bit contracted. Inhale, and again, back bend. Chest forward, shoulder, shoulder blades down. Just take a couple breaths there and maximize that upper body back bend. Exhale, and again, take it into the forward position. And just do that a couple more times. Just feel your whole spine work. Keep those shoulders not stressed or pressured. No pressure in the hands, no work in the shoulders. Just letting the spine move again. Next time you're forward, just pause. Inhale back up. And again, into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling all that circulation increase through your back, through your body, hands to your heart. Look at them and inhale all the way toward the ceiling, thumbs back, chest high. Again, exhaling over and into random. Just hang a moment, lifting your sitting bones, slide the hands up into our halfway and stretch. Pull those shoulder blades toward your waist. Bend your knees, exhale down into our child pose for transition. So go ahead, hands to your sides and forehead toward the floor. Let the shoulders relax. Exhale, tension. Let the spine get a good stretch. And then inhaling, sit up, coming to a cross leg position. And as always, because we're creatures of habit, we do that the same way each time. So switch it as we start. So go ahead, coming into whatever's comfortable for you with those sitting bones behind you. Remember, you can pad if you need to for a little pelvic opening. And relax your shoulders. I'm going to work the shoulders first. So also the arms and hands. So take a moment and breathe. Just let the whole upper body step and support you with those core activated muscles supporting your low back. Bring one arm out to the front and pull the other hand down and let the back of the wrist get a little stretch all across through that bone area. Shoulders, shoulder blades towards your waist, just pulling that hand back towards you. You need as much bend in the wrist as you need. And then pull the fingers up and back and push out the base of the palm out toward the front, feeling that whole lower arm getting a little stretch this time. Breathing into it, push it out as much as feels okay, but remember, never overdo. Only go to the point where you're feeling like it's working a little bit. And then back off a little bit, let it relax, and then maybe go a little further. And exhale, relax it. And then flat to the hand, hand flat to the floor. Just stretch those fingers out. Push each finger stretching across the back of the hand. And when you've done them all, pull the hand fingers back. Stretching across the palm. And whenever you're done, stretch the fingers out. Stretch the mat some more. Pull the fingers back and push from the palm out and away. Shoulders, shoulder blades relaxed and down towards your waist. And shake your hand out. And return it to your lap. Feeling the difference. So notice that that doesn't just work the hand, the whole arm is working. And then let's switch the legs and do the other one. 
So again, sitting bones behind you, core active, spine stretching apart, shoulders back and down, and the other arm out. Pull the fingers down, and again, let the back of the hand get a good bend, and stretch it out. So this is especially good if you've ever broken your wrist or have any kind of carpal tunnel. This will help also. So go ahead, just let it relax as you do it, only as much as feels right for your work. And then pull the fingers back, lifting them up and pressing out through the heel of the palm. <clears throat> just breathe into it, stretching. Remember the shoulders are relaxed, the core is supporting your back. And don't forget to breathe. And then again, spreading the fingers out with the hand parallel to the floor. Stretch it out and push the fingers one at a time. Down. Feel the back of the hand, get that stretch. Just notice which parts of your body are working as we pull the fingers in the opposite direction. And spread when you finish. Spread it out, maybe a little bit more. Push the heel of the palm out and the fingers up. With the fingers spread, and then again, shake it out. Pull arm, hand, and wrist. And back into your seated position. Just take another moment. And let's cross the legs the opposite way once more. So again, sitting bones behind you, core active, shoulders back and down. Let's work the shoulders a little bit more. So bring one arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, bend the <clears throat> fingertips toward the ceiling, and then lift the whole arm so that that 90 degree angle goes across the top of your head. Take the fingers and pull the hand back straight behind you, and then put the hand up on your shoulder as much as you can. So elbows straight up, then take the other hand on the elbow and maybe put it in a little bit more toward your head so you feel that full side. Open a little bit more. So you can use your hand or not, your choice. Keep the elbow going up and the fingertips sliding down and just feel what's going on through that wrist and loin and shoulder. And then bring the hand back to parallel to the floor over your head, bring it up and out and down to the floor. And again, just feel that side activated and working differently. So we can switch and do the other side. So opposite arm out, palm to the ceiling, bend the elbow, going across. Hold the elbow in place as you move the hand right back behind you and fingers down onto your shoulder. Again, you can pull that elbow back and in as much as feels okay for your shoulder and palm. Slide those fingertips down and on your shoulder toward your shoulder blade. You can keep that hand there, or you can release it and just do the pulling and isometrically. So again, maximize or minimize whatever's right for your arm, hand, and shoulder. Take a breath. Exhale. Bring the hand up parallel to the floor. Bring it over your head. Up. Palm toward the floor as you bring it back down. Feel the shoulders, feel your body, feel your spine. Take a moment and breathe. Oh, you know, let's do the legs again into the opposite cross. Take a few moments to situate with the sitting bones behind you and activating the core, lengthening up through the spine, keeping those shoulders back and down. Breathe. Bring your chin into the throat center and stretch the back of the neck. Take a moment and breathe. Remember the whole shoulder and hip area stays aligned. And when you're ready, bring the hands up. Just weight, not pressure to the back of your head. So take a moment there, breathing. Elbows out toward the sides. Exhaling as you do, just let the chin deepen into that throat center indentation. Exhaling, let the neck stretch through. 
another breath, just releasing any tightness there. And then releasing the hands, tip the head back straight up. And then lift the chin, stretch the front of your throat. And remember, you can move the chin, jaw area, pull around, stretching the throat, <clears throat> releasing the jaw, scrunching the face, letting the whole front of your throat and body get a good stretch. And then tip the head back upright, always stretching through that back of the neck area. And we'll do a little twist. So take a moment and exhale, turning your chin over toward one side. Just looking toward the side or the back as far as your body wants. Remember, shoulders still to the front. Exhale, just relax. Deepen as far as you like on the exhalations. Stretching up through the crown, keeping that core active. Exhale, turn your head back around. Chin to the front. And again, let's switch those legs and we'll twist the neck to the opposite side. So once again, shoulders back and down, crown reaching up. And exhale, chin only moving toward that opposite shoulder. And again, looking back toward the back of you and going only as far as your neck wants to go. Remember, never overlook the neck, always over. Overdoing is not necessary ever. So just go as far as you and it wants as you breathe. Exhaling, just deepening wherever it works for you. And again, crown up, exhaling, chin back to the center. Take a moment and breathe. And we'll tip the ear over toward the opposite side with the shoulders and hips still facing the front, face on the side. So we're tipping to one side, keeping both shoulders down, and then bring the hand you're tipping toward up and just add the weight, letting that neck get a little more stretch along the side and shoulder. If that's good, you can bring your hand to the floor and get a little bit more pressure in the hand on the floor to maximize that stretch on the side of the neck. But don't go there if that's not right for you. Always personal practice. Feel what's going on and then let it relax. Breathe deep. Always just letting it go, never forcing it. And then releasing the hands, tip the head back up to feel the difference. And of course, one more switch for our legs, getting things evened out, sitting bones back, core active spine stretching up. Then tip your opposite ear over toward the shoulder. Both shoulders stay there, no clenching. And again, take a moment there, just relaxing into it. The side you're tipping toward, bring the weight of the hand onto the side of the head, not pressure. Just let that maximize a little bit more, feeling that stretch on the other side. And again, you can bring the hand to the floor if you want a little bit more emphasis. Take a breath, just relax, tension in it. And again, you can hold these longer on your own, but you need to release the hands and tip the head back up, getting ready for a twist. So let's do a seated twist, bringing the legs out to the front, sitting bones behind us, bend your right knee, Put it outside the left leg or the opposite. And wrap your arms around, stretch the spine long and straight, bones separating for the twist. Keep that opposite arm around the knee and the other arm straight out. Then follow it around into your twist. Bring the hand behind you to the floor, close to your body. Inhale, pull the knee in, stretch the spine apart. Exhale, lift the hip a little bit up that you're moving away from as you move hips, ribs, and shoulder deeper into your twist. Toes up on that leg in front, knee toward the ceiling as well, and just deepen into your twist only as far as your body wants to go. Exhale, relaxing. And then bring your hand to shoulder level, follow it back around to the center, Releasing your hands and your leg, 
feeling that spine twist activating through you. And of course, we're going to do the opposite. So go ahead, bending that other knee, outside the long straight leg, wrap your arms around, get a good hug, pulling that knee in and stretching open through the spine. So nice long spine through the crack. Keep the opposite arm around the knee and the hand. Now let's stretch it up through the spine and as you exhale, turn to the chest. And again, bring the hand behind you on the floor, close to your body and stretch up. Lift that back hip as you turn deeper, hips, ribs, and shoulder further into your chest. Just going as much or as little as your body needs today. Take a breath. Just relaxing. And of course, when you're ready to release, bring the hand up and follow it back just gently to the center, releasing it into stand position. Take a moment again, just notice your body a little bit more activated in the spine and energy, getting ready for our relaxation. So go ahead and bring your feet to the end of the mat. Sitting bones behind you and core activated as you slowly lower to the mat. And as you get all the way down, just bring your hands next to your hips, palms up, pull the shoulders down toward the floor. Feel that spine get into its natural position, toes slightly toward each other, and then just let the legs release and feel the hips relax. Deepen into that connection to the surface beneath you as you breathe. Exhale, and you're letting your body grow heavy, just softening any tightness in your jaw, in your shoulders, in your torso. Exhale, just deepening into that earth support, letting your body grow, softening every part. As you deepen into that earth support, just allow thoughts of your body to release, letting your body keep relaxing even further. And as your body relaxes, releasing those thoughts, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. So go ahead and let those thoughts release as well. There's no need to remember the past or anticipate the future. It's your job of your mind to produce thoughts, but it's your choice when you pay attention. So let the thoughts be feeling allowed as easily as you like. As you breathe, just sink deep into that breath support. Let your mind float easily on the breath. Exhaling, letting the thoughts go, letting the body go, deepening into that awareness deep within of the peace always being turned. And just let your peace be your focus, feeling your body. Feeling your mind, just taking moments, being peace. Of course, if you have time to keep relaxing today, just go ahead as long as you have time. And if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment to the moment of your body. As you feel your body with breath, just so you're moving it gently, however it feels good for you today. Breathing and stretching more fully whenever you're ready to do so. And when you're ready for your final yoga of your appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, back gently pressing down, 
join the heels towards your hips and your knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms in there. Give yourself that appreciative yoga fun. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side and sit back up anywhere or whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.